on this episode. A 14-year-old gypsy girl throws a party to pick a husband. And Claudia shatters the sacred rules of modesty with a little flesh. Are you out of your freaking mind? It's gonna blow their mind. You wanna live in the colony? You know what your place is, period. As far as marriage, the man is the head of the household. It's the women's job to sew all the clothes for her children and husband. I don't believe in a woman working. I told my son the same thing. His wife's never worked a day in her life. I think we should all go to a fabric store and get the material with the colors and designs that we like. What kind of material? It's a lot of pink and a lot of heart. I want it super full in the back. I want it short in the front so you can see my legs. If Claudia showed a leg or her shoulder on the colony, she would get in big trouble. I want it sexy but beautiful. So I want to be like a human light bulb. I want to light up the whole room. We definitely should not be buying bright fabric. My mom would kill me if she found out. I'm going to have the more ball gown, and then I'm going to have more of a dance sexy outfit. The ball gown is light pink, and then the dance outfit's going to be a hot pink. This is way too pink. This we, is way too white. <laughs> we can't get caught with this. And it's going to be full of crystals, too. OK. You know, thinking of maybe meeting a future husband or potential husband, you have to really go all out. All I care about is marrying my boyfriend, Melvin, and I have to get baptized in order to marry. If anyone caught me wearing a skimpy dress, there's no way I'd be allowed to get baptized. Now, the dancing outfit that she has to change out into, it's a little bit more risque, but it's tasteful. <laughs> well, work it, baby. Work it, work it. See Priscilla light up when she's seen that? And it just melted my heart, my stomach. And I felt it deep in my soul, the excitement that little girl felt inside her right then. You know, I could feel it. I don't even know where my waist is. Hutterite dresses are not really made to show curves. I don't know what's going on, but my sister looks like a regular girl off the street, and I don't like it. She's dressed all sexy, or what she thinks is sexy is really disgusting. Look at her! <laughs> God! <laughs> Gypsy girls, we we might dance, you know, with our hips and stuff like that. We may show cleavage and skin, but you won't see anything if we bend over, and you won't see us all over the boys unless you're a dirty girl. Claudia is embarrassing herself. If anyone saw her right now, she'd be dead. I'm not gonna rat her out because I'm actually scared on what the colony would do to her. You look horrible. I never thought I'd see a hoop girl like this before. Wow. And my sister. Put your jacket on. You're showing off too much. Put it on. Oh my god, look at you. Turn around. You are shining. The purity of the hearts and the pink. It just it brings out the pureness of Priscilla's soul inside and out, you know. She's really pure-hearted and kind-hearted. Don't tell me you are this by bowling. Are you out of your freaking mind? It was just a one-time thing. One-time thing? That could ruin your whole life. My whole life is in the party's hands, you know? I might find my future husband, my future father, my kids. If they're lucky, they can get with me. This is not our tradition. Can you imagine the rumors going out now? What rumors? Wearing something like that and a miniskirt? We dress this way because it says so in the Bible. You're in trouble. You bring that dress and we'll meet the girls out there. And All the girls got in trouble? All the girls got in trouble. You bring that dress and we're going to burn it. Burn it. That is your punishment. Don't burn it. When boys look at my daughter in her beautiful pink dress, I want the best boy to pick her and say I'd like to have her and be my wife forever. And that's what I did with my wife. I picked and chose. And I'm happy now, and I hope some young man picks and chooses and be happy forever with my daughter. You ought to be ashamed! <laughs> Tonight, my life's definitely changed for the better. <laughs>